love yourself. You hear it all the time. But is that selfish? To paraphrase Oscar Wilde, selfishness is not living as one wishes to live. It's asking others to live as one wishes to live. In other words, it's perfectly fine for you to do and live your life the way you want to do it. What's not fine at all is asking other people to live according to what you want, rather than giving them autonomy to live according to their own desires. So why does loving yourself matter? Well, let's take a look. First of all, if you don't love you, why would anybody else want to love you? How you feel about yourself, in fact, about everything, shows up real loudly, real clearly in your energy field. The invisible energy that goes out and shows the world, well, I want to be near person A, and I want to avoid person B. I mean, I see them coming down the street, and their energy is so nasty. I'll cross the street so I won't have to run into them. It's how you feel, because the energy is there all the time. It's invisible, and it's real. You might call it a gut feeling. And for those of us who are clairvoyant, well, it's seeing the actual energy, seeing the actual aura. This invisible energy is what drives your thoughts and drives your actions and basically is the reason you live your life exactly the way you do. Now, nothing in your world can become manifest. I don't care how many times you watch The Secret, nothing in your world will happen unless you love yourself first, because you have to come from your heart, because your heart's what connects to the knowing of the universe. Now, when you're coming from your heart, then what you want to do is get your frequency, your energy field to be in a coherence, a nice sine wave with heart first. And then you can join with what's going on in your brain, in your mind. And it's called being incoherent. So it meshes, it fits together. And you want both those things to happen so that you can manifest what you want in life. How else does self-love show up in your life? Well, first of all, it's easy to tell someone who loves themselves. They have a positive relationship with themselves. Their thoughts tend to increase self-esteem. They have increased confidence, a high self-worth, and a better, healthier, even comfortable perspective on everything, on life, on the world. So all those pieces contribute to a healthy mental and physical state. Those attitudes then tend to foster self-care. People who love themselves, they eat well, not junk. They're not going to be overweight. They're eating food that's nourishing, and they're not overeating, and they're not eating when they're not hungry, and they're not eating junk food. They exercise in ways that are healthy, not obsessive, healthy. They have a spiritual practice. I know in my healthcare practice for decades, I find that people who do not have a spiritual practice tend to have poorer health. 
So whatever you believe in spirituality is not religion. They're two different things. Believing in a higher power, knowing who you are, your spirit, that matters to your well-being. And when you're loving yourself, that's just a natural part of you loving you. You'll also be getting good, nourishing sleep. You're giving your body a chance for the brain to shrink and all the bad toxins to clear out from your brain. So you get to be healthy when you're sleeping well and sleeping long enough. You'll also be engaging in activities that bring you joy, that let you feel great. And you'll also be experiencing great, satisfying, happy relationships, both personally and professionally. You're more likely, when you love yourself, you're more likely to honor and to respect yourself. You're going to keep healthy boundaries. Others are very unlikely to take advantage of you. And on that note, you're going to have success all across your life, all across your world, in your personal situations, in your professional situations. You also tend to have greater resilience. You know, bad things happen in everybody's lives, but when you love yourself, you're going to bounce back from any challenge faster than you would if you're not loving yourself. Now, summing it all up, self-love leads to happiness, which in turn leads to a healthier balanced life. As I've been teaching you for years, love yourself first. It's not selfish. It is mandatory. I thank you for joining us here today for this episode of Let's Get Metaphysical Connecting Heart and mind and remember to join our facebook group where you can make a friend where you can ask questions and see special offers and some extra posts and videos in addition i appreciate you leaving a review so other people can find us and it's easy to do that on our website and all these links are in the show notes the other thing, I really appreciate your joining our community on Patreon, where you'll get extra videos, extra posts, and a chance to be on a live Zoom chat where you can ask anything you want and meet other people in the community over at Patreon. And again, the link will be in the show notes. Now that you know why it's so very important to love yourself first, it's time to discover how the exact steps for loving yourself first. I created a program specifically to do that. It's a five-step, five-week program. And when you go through it, you're going to change your life. Because as I said, loving yourself first, it's not selfish. It is mandatory. The link to contact me for more information on that is in the show notes. Remember, enjoy. That's capital I-N, capital J-O-Y, every moment. Because nothing in your life is happening out there. It's all getting interpreted in here and in here. I'll see you here next time.